Welcome back. In our last hour, we featured a local organization spreading empowerment in underserved communities through dance. Now we have an inside look at an iconic BET series. Our Sheba Turk sat down with the executive producer and a former Soul Train dancer for National Dance Day. Skate Cutty Car, True Cutty Mac. I was a Soul Train dancer from 1980 to 1990, faithfully. My roommate at the time, I would always tell him, tell your lady to get me on a train, man. Can she get me? She was she was a dancer on there. You couldn't just walk to the studio and get on. They, they picked you, had picked you. Amazing. You might recognize this face ski car, an iconic dancer turned actor and L.A. local. He dances his way through the hearts of Soul Train viewers everywhere. Well, it's National Dance Day, and there's no better way than to celebrate by looking back on a show that changed music, culture, and entertainment in so many ways. BET's very own I Was a Soul Train Dancer is also an award-winning series that gives an inside look into the dancer's time on the show and their journey to the stage. So ski car, here with us today, looking just as fly and fabulous as he did on the show. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the executive producer of I Was a Soul Train Dancer, Tamisa Sanika, here to share more about this amazing series. Thank you guys so much for being with us this morning. Thank you Bless for having us. What a perfect way to celebrate National yes, Dance Day. The show was iconic, and you've come up with a series that's just brilliant. Tell us more about how you came up with this. So I work at BET in the digital department, and I create digital content for all of the original programs. And so we had a series, or we still have it because you can watch it on BET+. Plus. Awesome. We have this series called American Soul. And so I was thinking, like, what can we do to, like, create something that get people to want to go watch the main show so I was like Soul Train was really about the dancers we mm -hmm. grew up watching them you know but nobody knew their names we just knew them from identifiers like right. the Asian lady with the long hair yeah the tall guy that used to do this all the time <laughs> yeah. so I was like that is what I'll do and so I had to pitch it to yes. convince people you know what I'm saying and people like well why do we anybody really want to know what care so I just kept advocating for it so they let me actually do a pilot season or the season one of it so awesome. and that's how it came to be you were so right that people care you've won awards for this congratulations it's such a great idea okay so you're from la as well you're from inglewood yes ski how do you guys get connected to get him into this story? So basically, I'm like, all right, I don't know how to find Soul Train dancers. Yeah. Like, I don't, you don't know their names. Right. I don't, you know. So uh, one of my other classmates, because I went to Inglewood High School, was like, you know, um, Lou, like said Louie, or Ski went to Inglewood, right? And he was like, you can find him. And they told me where I can find him on Facebook. I sent him an email, I mean, a, a DM inside, like, hey, I'm doing this show. I got your number for a classmate of mine. I went to Inglewood High. Okay. I heard you went to Inglewood High. Would you be interested in doing this and he said yes and then he started giving me contact to other people and that's how it awesome so ski how does it feel to be reminiscing on what must have been just an amazing part of history well it's, it's an emotional thing for me because soul train was my youth mm -hmm. it was my introduction into entertainment what this lady did finding us all giving us a, a place to reminisce about the past and what don Cornelius rest his soul did I always tell this story. I was a, I was a fan of Soul Train in the 70s. Mm -hmm. How they danced, the culture, the music. I remember waking up Saturday mornings, being black and Mexican from Inglewood. Actually, she found me dancing in front of the forum, faithfully. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> no, I'm Stop. But Still that, dancing. That, that, that makes that's, so much that's, sense. That's Inglewood right there. <laughs> but like I said, being black and Mexican, uh, I remember my mom's waking up in the morning, making my new little chorizo pops, black, making chili. Eggs, listening to Al Green, mom mm -hmm. listening to salsa music, ranchera, and me, I was glued to the TV watching Soul Train, the mm. 70s dances. I said to myself, one of these days, I, I'm gonna get on Soul Train. And you did, how? Well, I went down, excuse me, I went down to the taping because it's, it's kind of exclusive. Mm -hmm. Chuck Johnson rest just so he handpicks you, mm -hmm. come on in. Mm. You, come on in. Mm -hmm. Me, Wait right there, man. Okay, yeah, you don't want the wait right there. I'm like, I'm <laughs> you know like, that hurts your soul. I'm like, yo, Chuck. So, so two tapers, I couldn't get in. I okay. go back to Rogers Park where I grew up in, in Inglewood mm -hmm. playing play basketball. My cats, my cutties, they was like, yo, you got to stand out. Wear a tux. Mm -hmm. I went down to market in Manchester and got a white tux. Okay. <laughs> My third uh, try trying to get in. Now I'm standing outside the gate. White tux. White tux. Borsalino, we see you. White biscuits. <laughs> and I'm right there. Chuck comes out. Still nothing. Okay. Now, <laughs> All right. now it's lunch. Five o'clock. He was like, man, get your butt in here. Okay. So the riser's here, and I'm 6'5". All I wanted to do, every camera was just 
put up my fingers so they could see me back in England. Okay, boy. got you, got you. So I got two two songs in. <laughs> Chuck comes to me and says, I don't know what it is about you, man, but Don Canales, he wants you on center oh. ice. What? What? The white tux is working. <laughs> that's that's when I knew that it was my destiny. Yeah. Soul Train was my destiny. Listen, this is the point of the series, though, to exactly. uncover amazing stories. You're like, we grew up watching this show, idolized everyone on it. But you're right, we don't really know we their didn't stories. Know their story, and a lot of them had. They all have very interesting, distinct stories in terms of how they get on the show. Mm -hmm. Chuck Johnson was the. And it was a lot of no's. A lot of them got a no, yeah. you know what I'm saying, before they had to, you know, could get in. But mm -hmm. everybody's story in terms of they snuck in. Some people snuck in, climbed over. They told me no, it's climbed in and snuck in from the back yeah. way and just kept dancing until nobody, you know, they couldn't not deny that they should be on the show. So. That's amazing. You told me some surprising people who we probably know of but don't realize they were still trained dancers were on the show. Oh, yes. Yeah. So we, um, in season two, we highlighted celebrities that danced on Soul Train. Yeah. So we had Vivica Fox. Amazing. She's a Soul Train dancer. The comedian Alex Thomas is a Soul Train dancer. The iconic um, Robbie Reed, the uh -huh. casting director that direct, uh, casted every black film you can think of, <laughs> yes. danced on Soul Train. Wow. From the time she was 14 to like right when she went to off to college at Hampton. So amazing. So ski, do you still dance now? Uh, not so much like I used to boogie back then, but you know, I wasn't, I always say I wasn't the best dancer, but my teachers, my mentors was Michael Jackson, mm -hmm. James Brown, wow. Elvis Presley. So I studied those cats and then just put my own Cuddy Mac style in there. So now I'm more so of a salsa dancer, right? When I first met my wife, my beautiful boo-boo, we would always go salsa dancing, but every now and then I'm busting a soul train move on a salsa floor. Okay. And the salsettos is like, wait, well, that's against the rules, man. What do you, <laughs> like, what? How you gonna spin and then do the cutty finger? I but, love uh, it. I I'll be a dancer until the day I die. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and even not what just lady did in th this interview, but my son, baby Cash, is 21 months, is he's Aww. 21 months old. But this morning, he brought me my cane. And I haven't had this cane since back in the day. Mm -hmm. That, to me, solidifies my legacy, not just as a, a dancer, but as a, as a father, mm. as a husband. And one day, my son, he's going to Google his daddy and say, that was my daddy. Oh, he's going to he be so proud. He was a soul train dancer. And that's, yeah. that's why it makes it emotional for me to have my baby Cash to see his daddy boogie in one day. Look, 21 months, he wakes up. Oh, that's Papa. Your, and then that's, he says, George, he wants to watch Curious George. I'm like, yeah. that's my boy right there. I that's love that. Boy. Literally watching your legacy play out. That's right so beautiful. There. Amazing that you're capturing these beautiful stories. How can we watch? You can um, watch um, I Was a Soul Train Dancer on BET.com. You can also check it out on, a, on their our YouTube page. Um, and, you know, this coming November will be season six will be dropping. Amazing. Congratulations on the series and all the accolades you've gotten from it. Ski, you look fly as ever. Thank you. Okay, thanks for bringing the flyness to the set. Yeah. Guys, you can find this segment and everything we talked about on our website, kcalnews.com slash TV. And happy National Dance Day.